Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So tonight is the night that we are going to start bringing in some of this other hardware and start doing videos on it as well. So the last video you saw was the Unified Group video, and instead of doing a PF Sense video tonight, that will be the next video, we are going to unbox a MicroTik router board hap. Now, if you're looking for a lot of fanfare or you broke out uh, whatever for this unboxing, it is <laughs> it's gonna the unboxing itself is um, it's gonna leave a little bit to be desired because I'm assuming that Microtech has an awesome product because they really save on the packaging. Now this is uh, the Hap Light retails for about $21.95 from what I can tell. There is a, uh, a link down in the description if you want to support the channel. You can buy one of these guys there. I have never opened this, never plugged it in, so we are going to do this together. So um, on the box it says uh, connect the internet cable to port 1, connect your computers to port 1 through 4, set Computer IP configuration to automatic. Power on and enjoy. To configure your router, enter 192.168.88.1 in your web browser. Default username is admin and there is no password. Upgrade notice for best product experience. Please upgrade this device to the newest router OS and router boot version. Instructions, microtick.com slash update. So let's go ahead and open this guy real quick. Open it up, and here are the contents. By the way, do you notice a difference in the video? I did upgrade the camera a little bit, so I'm hoping the video looks a little better. I can't do anything about the guy in the middle of it. but So uh, here's a quick start guide, and you can see this is uh, router board HAP light, and it basically tells us the same thing that uh, the back of the box told us. Uh, it does tell us what the, the uh, ports do, um, that it has one integrated 2.4 gigahertz, uh, 2x2, uh, MIMO, MIMO, multiple input, multiple output, uh, with two onboard PIF antennas, max gain 1.5 dBi. There is a reset button on the back. And then one thing that's really neat... Um, about the MicroTik gear is they have a controller and the controller is built into every version of uh, router o OS. Now th this this is what I've read. So you can buy any of the access points and they can stand alone or they can join this controller and they put the controller capabilities in every piece of hardware. So when we open up the box we've got the 5 volt power adapter and you can see that the end of that um, is very much like um, Raspberry Pi or any other micro USB. And then we have the HAP light itself. It almost looks 3D printed, um, which is kind of neat. Um, this thing is really light. It is really light. And, uh, you know, you can see we've got all these ports on the back. Reset button down here. LEDs here, power here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this guy. He's going to get plugged into where my PC's plugged into in our US-8 switch. And then I'm going to plug my PC into this, and we're going to configure it and try to get on the Internet. Okay, so back here I have port 1 plugged into my network and it's grabbing DHCP and then I have my workstation plugged into port 2 and it is grabbing DHCP so let's see um, and real quick before we get into this if you want to know more about Microtik go out to microtik.com and there is an about us and it talks about router OS and their hardware where they're at um, if you're familiar with Ubiquity you are probably familiar with Microtik so and then if you go to routerboard.com, you can look at the the HAP, the HAP light, the home access point light, is an ideal little device for your apartment, house, or office. 
and I thought I read somewhere that they used the word cute, <laughs> so so I don't know, but uh, yeah, uh, MSRP2195, like I said, there's going to be a link down there in the description, but let's uh, go ahead and open up 192.168.88.1. And it said that the default username was admin, but it just took us right to the login. This is the first time that I have ever been in Router OS. So we are learning this together. Networking is networking, but the vendors, you know, they all implement it in their own ways. So uh, this looks like a quick set. So local network is here. Uh, address acquisition is automatic for the internet, so you can see it grabbed 192.168.66.187. Um, and it would be grabbing that from an edge router light. And then here is the internal, and we are doing NAT. No VPN. Okay. Password. We are going to put a password on this right now and it's gonna match our lab password I'm not gonna tell you what that is I I like you I really do but I'm not gonna tell you what my password is so we'll apply that and see what happens um, let's see if we log out now and no so okay so authentication failed invalid username or password that's fantastic so we'll go ahead and log back into this and then somebody told me that if you're getting into MicroTik, the easiest way or the best way to do it is WinBox. So I saw a little WinBox icon over here. So we're going to click on that. And the download that's in there doesn't, uh, the link doesn't look like it's any good. So maybe we need to go to software. Let's see. MicroTik.com slash update. Let's, uh, Let's do that first, like the back of the uh, the back of the box said. Router OS upgrade. If you're already running six, which version are we running? Let's see. Router board. Okay. So we are on factory firmware 3.33. Um, do you really want to upgrade? Cannot change firmware to this version. Okay. Um, so I've never done this, so we'll do this real quick. So let's go check for updates. Well, where do we get, where do we get, uh, Winbox? So we'll click on Winbox. And Microtech download page, which I would think that they would update the they would update the link, you know, that it that it's going to, but apparently not. What do I know? Um, let's see. Winbox. So we'll grab Winbox real quick. And Winbox is going to open up. Connect to. 192.168.88.1 and it says the following default configuration has been installed on your router and I don't want to remove it yet uh, we will get to that at some point um, so this interface looks a lot like this interface. So Winbox looks a lot like the web interface. So if you know what the advantage of running Winbox is, uh, put that down in the comments for me, would you? Um, all right, so let's go back. Where was that upgrade at? Winbox, okay, upgrade. We're going to go to System, Packages, Check for Upgrade. So we'll go to System, Packages, Check for Updates, Channel, Current, looks like there is. 
Um, oh, you can do bug fix, release candidate, or development. Let's stay on current for now. Um, let's make sure that we're supposed to do download and install. So we can do a download and install. So then we have to, up, after that, we have to upgrade the, uh, the bootloader. So we will do a download and install, which was the first step that they showed. So in this video, all we're going to get to is we're going to take this thing out of the box, which you already saw. We're going to download and upgrade the software, and then we'll start getting into some configuration um, in the next videos. So it's downloaded. It's rebooting. We'll start a ping. By the way, if I'm making goofy phases and stuff, it's the new camera. I'm just I'm getting used to it. Things are a lot clearer and and uh, maybe it surprises me and my face reflects it reflects that. I don't know. This thing should be rebooting. Don't know how long it takes to uh, to reboot. Okay, there it is. It's coming back now. So we will reconnect. Logging in, and it looks like we are current. And that was released uh, January 13th, 2017. It's version 6.38.1, and it looks like they have a lot of fixes. So that's fantastic. I I'm really excited about this, by the way. Uh, we're going to make this and the Ubiquity stuff work together. It's going to be fantastic. All right, so what's next? So now we go to system, we go to router board, and then we go to upgrade. So let's see. So we're going to go to system, router board, and then upgrade. Do you really want to upgrade the firmware? And you can see we're on 3.33 and the upgrade is 3.36, so we'll say yes. And then what? Yes, after the firmware upgrade, still old version is used until you reboot the router. Uh, for router boards, the upgrade. Okay, so what we need to do real quick is we need to reboot. So we go to system, probably sh shut down. System reboot. System reboot. Go figure. Yes, we want to reboot. So we should lose. Yep, there we go. We lost the router. And we'll bring up our ping again. And it looks like we're back already. That's fantastic. So we'll bring our win, win box back in. And uh, we are connected. So... Um, if we look at, uh, let's see, I don't even know, this is so new to me. There's so many options, so many options. Um, we can look at that quick set screen again, but here we are, we're upgraded. We're on the latest version of uh, router OS and, uh, that's available for this device and our firmware has been updated so we're good to go so uh, you know come back for the next video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please comment please share um, you know come back for the next video and we're gonna learn uh, router OS together now I am gonna do a lot of research and a lot of learning and a lot of labbing you know so when we start doing this um, you know, we're not spending a lot of time reading on the video, so we can get right down to it. And you can follow along. So once again, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I will see you in the next video.